Hey guys, this is Nate Jackson. Uh, we're going to go over these features one by one. So I'm going to do one feature per video. So this is going to be uh, probably nine or ten videos uh, in this series uh, for the linked engine. Right now I have it uh, in its prototype name. You see LI Virtual Assistant. I think I'm going to change it to linked engine. Uh, I'm going I'm to be launching it this weekend. Today is uh, February 5th. So I'm going to be launching it in the next few days, uh, just as soon as I can get the sales page up. So the first feature that we're going to review is the uh, Get Your Contacts. And what that's going to do is, for the people that you're already connected with on LinkedIn, this will allow you to download uh, the information that you need to be able to send them messages and also to uh, get their, their uh, email, addr email address. So you'll be able to, with this information that you download, you'll be able to send them messages through LinkedIn, and you'll also be able to compile their email addresses if you have a uh, a marketing an email marketing campaign. So what you're going to do is, generally with the software, you're going to pick the module, and then you're going to either upload a file or save a file, and then you're going to click the Start button. And that's as pretty much as simple as it gets, unless you're going to be sending a message or posting to a group or connecting to someone then you'll input uh, information in one of these two boxes and check this checkbox if you want or not and set your timing settings and that's about as simple as it gets so there's only one screen I've, I've done a lot of work on uh, UI design and I think this is a lot uh, more modern than some of the other other uh, softwares that I've, I've developed so I'm getting better, and I think you're going to be pretty pleased with this. So to get, to get your contacts, you're going to click Get Contacts, and then that's going to uh, to you, let you know that it's activated. Get Contacts activated. You see Get to Contacts is the status here, and it pulls up all of your contacts. You see right here all of my first level connections, 398 in this account. Uh, so if you wanted to, you could actually filter your uh, informa filter your results by whatever is on the side of LinkedIn here. So if I wanted to pick all the people that I have, let's say, gone to school with. So let's see, school, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. And these are, this is, I know all these people. Well, we went to, we went to the college together. So if I wanted to do, so if I unclicked, so if I wanted to click, get only my contacts that I went to college with, I could do that. If I wanted to, so you know, and that's how it works. I don't want to spend too much time on it. So you can filter it by whatever, by whatever uh, you want it. Uh, if you wanted to pick everyone in your area that you're co already connected with, say 135 results. Um, let's go back. How many people I go to school with that I'm connected to? Uh, 36 results. Uh, let's see. So you can filter that, and then once you do that, you pick a file name, you save a file name, so you click the Save button, and we're going to just call it MyContacts.csv. You can call it whatever you want. You can save it to whatever folder you want. Okay, so we pick that. Uh, it's going to say I already have that file, so do you want to replace it? Yes. So we're going to save it to MyContacts.csv, and then we're going to just click the Play button. I have 398 results, and I'm going to click play, start. This is getting your search results, and it's going to cycle through the pages, get all the results, and it's going to save the file. And then we're going to take a look at what that file looks like. I'm going to uh, fast forward it so that you don't have to wait for it to go through, I think, like 40 pages. And then we'll take a look at that file. Okay, so we're back, and it says here, done. You have found 398 results. Results saved to my desktop, mycontacts.csv. Click OK. And so we're going to take a look at what that file uh, has in store for us. So we're going to uh, minimize this, and we're going to go to, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? My contacts. Open this file. <clears throat> Saved, uh, yeah, two five two sixteen. So we just saved it. My favorite software, OpenOffice.org. Well, OpenOffice, which you can get from OpenOffice.org, absolutely free. 
replacement for Microsoft Excel for all intents and purposes. Well, most intents and purposes. So we're going to open it up. And so here, first column is the LinkedIn profile URL that we got from the page. So that's the information that we're going to need to send them a message or to get their email address. Uh, then we scroll over here. We have their name. We have their title. We have their industry. And we have their location. So that's a pretty good amount of information that we're able to get from this software. So here we have 399 results, well 398 results plus the one row for the title, so that's 398 results. And everything is completely filled out. It's a we got that in about I I should have looked at what time we started, but it only took a few minutes. I can go back on the video and see and put it up there. Or talk about it in this next video. So that's how you get the contacts that you're already connected to. And now I'm going to show you how to send your contacts messages and also how to uh, get their email addresses. So I'll see you on the next video.